Hello all and welcome to Broadside, the channel where we go through video games and examine the history and lore and compare it to reality. This is another video in our long running series on the Heralds in the Assassin's Creed games. Without any further ado, let's jump into 800's Baghdad and Assassin's Creed Mirage. Citizens, please note that a musical competition will be held tomorrow evening and be open to the public. Artists featured will include the students of Arib al Ma'muniya. The Khalifa invites you to bathe in the talents of Baghdad's finest rising stars. Well, what an honor. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name, but they were recognized as one of the most famous slave singers to have ever resided in the Baghdad court. She lived between the years of 797 and to about 891 and so would have been alive during Basim's adventure. From what I have read, she was a slave singer and was so desirable and talented that she was able to rise through society and access social circles that would have been otherwise closed off. I believe she even had personal relationships with some caliphs uh, as well. It is likely that she was able to purchase or earn her freedom during her long life, and a poet, singer, artist, this competition sure would have been interesting to see, especially if they were truly her students and shared her talent. Let's move on to the next one. Citizens! The Muhtasib would like to remind all merchants that the price limits set upon applicable products are to be strictly observed. No raising of fees beyond the approved amount, save by express permission from the Khalifa. As with our previous video, we are getting an announcement from the Mahatasib, or official of the bazaars and trade. Apparently there are price limits on items that merchants need to comply with. This is a time period where a market economy was established based on the economic system resembling merchant capitalism. That being said, the concepts of welfare and pension were also around, and the Islamic government directed funds to those that needed it most. So price limits wouldn't be completely out of bounds here. So they may have existed and probably did. On a more individual level, those walking the streets of Baghdad would encounter goods from all over. The golden age and stability permitted greater trade, and vessels ventured as far south as Madagascar, and as far east as China, Korea, and Japan. Apparently, there was an entire section of the city that was dedicated to Chinese goods, so whoever is out there looking for any particular good, odds are you're going to find it in 800's Baghdad, and at a guaranteed price. That's nice. Travelers! Are you fresh from the bazaar and new laden with goods? Do you worry how you will bear them back from whence you came? Then seek out Asif the camel seller for the best beast of burden that ever strode the desert sands. The Khalifa approves this message. Ah, is anyone interested in acquiring a camel? I think it's fair to say that there isn't an exact date of when camels were domesticated, but that had happened thousands of years ago, and since then have become an integral part of certain societies with hotter climates. They quickly became the beast of burden of choice, and for those interested, check out Asif's shop. Citizens, be warned that a nest of cobras has been tormenting travelers who pass beyond our city gates. Tread carefully as you travel, and be wary of where you step. Whoa. Now that is an alert right there, that is a perfect public service announcement. Let's go through some quick facts. So all known cobras are venomous, most are capable of rearing upwards and producing a hood, though not all, and generally speaking snakes can be aggressive when disturbed or threatened but prefer to escape rather than confront. So this is a serious warning, especially if you're moving around the gates. It seems as though, yeah, there's a nest there and uh, they will kill you. So, <laughs> avoid that at all costs. And that will do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And remember to like and subscribe for more similar content.